People are going to load up the life of me, please. I'm totally dead. Never know. Yeah, man, I'm going to load up this life for me, please, and thank you very much. Zin, what's up, triple? Bad girl, Missy Boo, big up yourself. You understand? Zin, big up everybody who are checking back. Big up the people who did it on the previous life. You understand? Enough respect. You understand? No could have done anywhere else. You know, a lot of you could have done there. This is one of the many music dance and live them who did it. <laughs> you could have done over one of the mix up live them, but you choose to come over here so to help me for just share and spread the knowledge. You understand me? I say, well, my perspective really. You understand? Um, not necessarily that I am right, but this is just my views. If you do not agree with my views, that is your, your, your views, your personal views are welcome. You understand? Your, 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 <laughs> Fortis, pick up yourself here, CJ. Zane, you not agreeing with me is welcome here. You, you understand? Disagreeing, you commenting against what I have to say, it is welcome here. This is not a space where we cuss the people or block the people who disagree with us. This is not a space where we, where we try to act like we are omnipotent or omnipresent. This is a space where we are fully, fully cognizant of the fact that we don't know everything. And I do not have all the answers. If I had all the answers, I would be rich. If I didn't know everything we are going, I would have been rich. I would not feel I do the things that I have to do to earn an income to provide for myself and my family and my friends. You understand me, I say? So, yeah, I don't know if you notice something, it was going viral, but then the Diamond League lick it out of contention. The one, two, three from the, from the girls, from the women, <laughs> Jamaican athletes, eat it out of the, stop, the, 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 the spotlight. Yes, we are proud of the women, and yes, we are glad, and yes, we are elated, and yes, we have to enjoy them something. Yeah? But it is unfortunate that this, the Diamond League, took place basically a day after this incident happened. So this incident did not get the proper traction that it needed to get on social media. There is a video. Zane, there is a video of a young lady. Not seeing you could triple good. Yeah, see me better now, Foxy Bland. People, well, I'm seeing can turn on peace more light. Yeah, people had me there, so I can't really go live in there. People in my yard, so I have to come out of doing my car and come do my yard. You understand me? I say, we just have build back for the little first year lockdown, you see? So, yeah. Alright, it's a climb, so it looks like people are saying. As me I say, this video that we see we saw, we didn't see it from the inception, but basically the caption was that police arrest woman in Mapen Market. That was the caption. Police arrest woman in Mapen Market. Now the incident, the video it started. I don't know if you people saw the video. And unfortunately, I don't have the video right now to show you on this live. You understand? It was what if I place it there was Sparks page. What if I place it there on Instagram? You understand? They on Greener page and I commented on Greener page and the comment that I posted was getting a lot of traction because a lot of the persons were disagreeing with me on the comment that I posted. Now, if you don't know me, you don't know say I don't run from an argument. And you know say I don't have a problem with people not siding with me. I don't have a problem with people not Believing that what I'm saying is true or people having a difference of opinion with me. I have no problem with that because I saw the world sit We are here. You're good, but not seeing you on a Nazi. Why on a Nazi? Oh Anyway As me I say the video began where you saw a woman resisting the police, the police is arrest. The video started with the woman having the police have, you know, them retractable button there, the metal retractable button there. The police, them have that a ring out of the woman hand. This, I saw the video start with the police, them a ring out the button 
out of the woman and two police are all her and one police are ring out the back note her and then they pull her and a haul her one woman three male police a haul her and a pull her and a try to force her into a, into a police vehicle there was no handcuffs well as far as i could see because i watched it several times and i was looking and i didn't see a handcuff placed on the woman's hand i didn't see them trying to restrain her with the proper technique i didn't see that i don't see all and pulling and pushing and swinging the woman here and there and pushing her into the vehicle that's that's what i saw on the video the police that was that was ringing out the button out of the woman and he seemed that he was the one that was most upset about the situation he seemed like the one who was most angry about the situation there was a woman that was videoing the whole occurrence from her pov from her point of view and while she was videoing it she was be, being extremely boisterous and shouting what she was going she wasn't shouting any expletives nor any derogatory terms towards or hurling any true insults at the police she was just irate about what is going on and shouting very boisterously i must say and and um saying that look what's going on into me paying people the need for see this it's a police abuse the police them abuse the woman and uh, them the need for that is a woman who don't no, no have mother who don't no have sister one bag of thing and man, ring the woman and a push her but as i said before people one of the police officers was the most aggressive the one with the button he was the tallest one the biggest one the largest one in stature he was the most aggressive in the whole situation while the woman was videoing there were several other persons that you could see their phones were out and they were videoing the whole situation and they were saying um they were saying what um stop the the little woman so on ray and one thing and everybody was videoing when they got to the to the to the van door the police van door they started to shove her into the vehicle she still was resisting and they were shoving her in the vehicle and pushing her and hurling her into the vehicle you understand the persons like the persons in the crowd was like stop dealing her in the stop dealing woman in another in another manner and thing the police that ring the button out of the woman and his response to the persons videoing him and saying we need a badge number we need a badge number was to pull a pepper spray and just point it and spray it directly into the face of the person holding the camera which he instilled just took the camera turned around and started to request water to wash off her face very boisterously not one profanity was heard the entire videoing of this video by the person irrespective of the fact that she was behaving boisterously now my comment under the video was no matter the circumstances that caused this altercation with the police the police officers have no right no right whatsoever to be so aggressive in the arrest of the perpetrator in question none whatsoever not because she's a female not because she's elderly and not because of where it took place but because she is a jamaican citizen and the job of the police officers is to serve and protect or to certainly reassure i forget what exactly what the jamaica but that's basically the same thing to sit down and reassure i saw i saw forget about it i don't remember exactly when you can comment it they say if you want now the consensus of the majority and I'm, and I'm and I'm not me not me not me not over exaggerate now. The majority of the comments under the Gleaners page was of people saying, "Why is she resisting? Why was she resisting? The police them not wrong. If she never did a resist, this wouldn't happen to her. Remember, people. This is one individual, and remember, you know, nobody know what happened before. Me not know what happened before." you know i'm know I'm before remember this we don't know what incident leaded up 
to her and the police falling out. We don't know what incident lead up to she and the police in a physical confrontation. I don't know if she hit the police first. I don't know if the police hit her first. I don't know if she was heard in profanities. I don't know if the police asked her nicely. And then she started, we don't know nothing. Let us work off of the evidence that is at hand. The evidence that is at hand is that the police were manhandling the woman because she was resisting. Her resisting is not reason for three three not one not two but three trained members of the jamaica constabulary force to be manhandling a citizen of jamaica in that manner irrespective of the fact that she was resisting first of all me make sure so me watch a couple of youtube videos before me do this you know the police are trained in incident de-escalation they are trained in incidents de-escalation they are trained in conflict resolution they are trained in crowd control they are trained how to deal with a reluctant perpetrator they are trained to deal with individually to deal with a person resisting arrest all of this training that they are get, that they have received are done on the bank or by the bank or paid for by the bank of public coffers the taxpayers of jamaica pay for the training that these people get if the taxpayers of jamaica pays for the training that you are getting you should implore or employ that training while dealing with the people of jamaica Correct. The first thing that the police did wrong was they did not restrain the perpetrator. They did not restrain the female perpetrator. Three males of graver, greater physical strength than the young lady or the old lady or old lady or whatever it is did not restrain the perpetrator. There are several techniques that could have been used, that could have been employed, that they all these police officers are trained in subduing a perpetrator. All of them are trained in doing that. None of them employed any of those training. All of those training went out the window. It was all personal animus. Zin, it was all personal animus. Zin, that happened. Somebody say, Chevelle said the details just came out on the news. I do not know the details that came out of the, on the news, but I can tell you this. The details on the news, the news was not there. Everything that the news talk is second hand. You understand? It, unless the news have a video from before everything happened, our body cam from the police officers that we have heard were supposed to come out. I know when I say the body cam, they mean play now. If the body cam is there, I, I, then we can watch that and then we can say, okay, decisively, the police is wrong or decisively, the woman is wrong, whichever way. You understand? But until there is video evidence that can show what happened, we don't say nothing. She need to need not to, not resist in arrest. No, you need to understand this now. If you have a family member and the family member is mentally ill and something happened on the road with the family member, Probably from 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 the member can be a functional person, somebody who's functional with a mental illness. Suppose the person have a mental episode, you understand, a psychotic episode where the person probably schizophrenic or bipolar, or the person going through depression or having a having a mental collapse on the road while dealing with the police and the mental incapacitation of the person cause the person to resist arrest. Is the person is the police officers then? warranted to abuse your family member just because they were having a mental episode hmm? is that person is the abuse that that person received warranted because they are mentally incapacitated by three adult fully trained Members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Hmm? No. 
we don't the police shouldn't be calling that situation you know but in this world that we live in the police are calling that situation the police don't know first of all remember this you know all the mental or mental issues going on you can be stressed can cause a mental breakdown you might be doing something and be in a stressful situation in an altercation with somebody verbally and the police come come dissipate it and then you and the person the police get get um start to exchange words and the police take something offensive that you say or you probably in turn say something offensive and the police then try to arrest you but because you are mentally incapacitated you end up doing something physically that cause you and the police them to get in a physical altercation the police try to arrest you and then you try to resist arrest because you are not in this mental plane that you are on to just accept the arrest it is easy for people to say you should not resist arrest because you are not in the heat of the situation you in turn are not mentally incapacitated you are not of the mental fortitude of the person who is resisting arrest so for you to jump and say okay they should resist arrest they should resist arrest and this would happen you are also a part of the problem because the police are trained to deal with persons who are resisting arrest in a humane manner the police are trained to deal with persons who resist arrest in a humane manner one and one the police are trained to deal with it one and one they are trained to deal with it two and one worse they are trained to deal with it three and one three male and one female appropriately they should have subdued the woman you understand restrain the woman after them restrain the woman they should have brought the vehicle to where they are and then they should have placed her in the vehicle not only for the safety of the woman but also for the safety of the police officers themselves all of them flipping up and lashing out a shadow or resist she could have she could have said some blind one of the police them or two of the police them could have been blind blinded she could have hit them in the back of the neck or under the throat and caused them to be para become a paraplegic because they the, the training that they get is not only to protect the public but also to protect themselves You understand me I say? No. For everybody who is saying that she's wrong, she's wrong, she's wrong. You need to understand this. The ends does not justify the means. Because somebody do something wrong, you as a government official should not do something wrong in turn to counteract whatever it is that she did wrong. And that goes without saying. You understand me, I say? That goes without saying. Because legally, the police gave up them right. See me like how you might do that, you not do nothing. And a police says something to offend you. If you resist after that, you give up your right to. The police did something wrong, but you also did something wrong too. So even though you might win the, win the case against them for them, though, them still can't charge you for what you do wrong too so the same way like how she i go get charged for something she do wrong the police them forget charged for something them do wrong too because they are doing something wrong and i hate when people say that okay them are do a job where stressful and the job hard and them something they, nobody in jamaica is forced to become a police you choose to become a police when people come and say oh the nurse them overwork nobody forces anybody to become a nurse you choose to become a nurse. You choose to become a doctor. So the work that you are doing, you chose to go there. If it is too stressful for you, it is simple. You can always leave. You can always tend the resignation and leave it if it is too much for you. If you cannot handle it. But obviously you choose to do it because you want to do it or you don't have another choice. But the choice that you don't have is not forced or imposed on you by the governance of this country. Virgo King said, if you think it's easy to is so it's easy to restrain a female. No, Virgo King, it is not easy. That is why you get the appropriate training to restrain the female. And if you think I lie me, I tell every anybody upon this can go up on YouTube and uh, or Google. Restrain it, restrain how to restrain and um a perpetrator, a reluctant um combatant. 
all of them things there, there, there. And you can, you can show you the exact type of training where the JCF get. They on it. Exact type of training there, where the JCF get. And if they employed that training, they would have resist, restrained the woman in a less than two minutes. Less than 30 seconds, they would have restrained the woman. The video wouldn't be so long. The most them would have said, Oh God, they might press down upon the woman. Or, Oh God, look how the three man them hold on upon the woman. Or, hold her down. I want somebody explain to me how the police them, you know, don't use zip tie, you don't use handcuffs, or nothing, and you fight the woman into the back seat of a vehicle who don't, don't have a cage. How you go drive with the woman, we don't already irate, that is unsubdued, that is unrestrained. How are you going to drive with the person in the vehicle? Reeling and flashing up and flashing up. How, how, how that safe for even you? I drive with somebody like that, unsubdued. And this is the thing, you don't have to be rough. You don't have to use excessive roughness. For subdue, for subdue somebody, do it the right way. Yes, when you do things the right way, and that's how the law go, you know. The right way is not always the fear way, you know. And that's what you understand now. Fear and right are two different things, you know. You understand it might not seem fear because it would have still be three man versus one woman. But at least you might do it in the right way. Instead of using personal animals. And how many know him using personal animals? The big thick one, the one ring out the something. How many know say him, the main perpetrator of this? How many know him did I use for him personal animals? When the people him start asking for him badge number, him reach the pepper spray and him does all of the pepper spray and spray the people him. He did not say to the people him, dress back. He did not state to the people him, move off. He did not state to the people him, I am going to, he didn't give the people him no form of cautionary before using that non-lethal force. And as a police officer, it is your job, even that him can get in, get in trouble for, for, for discharging the pepper spray without a cautionary. Because you're supposed to caution the person before you use any form of force as a police officer. You're supposed to cash on the person first. And if you don't cash on the person first, you will get in a trouble for that. Like, that is an illegal thing where you do right this. Chevella said, we as Jamaican need to educate ourselves on our rights as citizens. Exactly. Them police here, yeah, I shoot first and ask questions later. Them now serve and... You know what? Watch the video about me. Not sure if the police was wearing their mask. Nope. By, by law still, police operation, you got to stay 15 feet. Irrespective of the fact. This is what you need to understand, you know. Whether or not the people them broke the law. Breaking the law to enforce the law is a double, a double, wait, 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 it's a cannon drum. It cannot go so. It's a catch 22 that. So if you broke the law, if you broke the law, to enforce the law. You still broke the law. Let me show you something. This I know. If you're broke in a somebody else and while you're in the somebody else, you see somebody and murder somebody after you broke in the house and you save the person, you, 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 you said so and hold on the person and help the person, fight off the person who try to murder them. You still in trouble. You still are going to get in trouble. The person who get murdered for them liar, the defense of them liar have a mount I say you assault the person. No, you know why you end up assault the person even though them never did for the or even though them that commit a murder because the means to how you get to stop the murder was that you broke into the house you came into the house forcibly and unannounced and uninvited so you already broke the threshold of the people them also broke the law if you come there if you come do whatever even though you come there come stop them from murder some somebody for them defense i'm gonna use the fact for say you broke the law if you come if you come stop them from breaking the law so you are the one where they say that's how the defense are gonna come and so so the prosecution cannot use you as a 